Hi, I'm Francois Garzano and I'm the CEO of AthleteMonitoring.com. In this short video, I will present our new injury surveillance system that is based on the Oslo Sports Trauma Center questionnaire, a new and innovative approach uh, to injury surveillance. Before I start showing you the system, I will uh, show a few slides to provide some background information. So in the first slide, the one I'm showing you now, I will present the traditional approach of injury surveillance. In the traditional approach of injury surveillance, the athlete reports an health problem to the medical team. The medical team, in turn, will uh, report the problem into a central database. This approach has several problems. It requires medical attention. They only count time loss injuries. And as a result, they detect only a small fraction of the total health burden. The new approach. That's the approach that we have implemented in the athlete monitoring platform. It's a, it's a new injury surveillance methodology designed by the Oslo Sports Trauma Center and it's based on a weekly health questionnaire that has to be completed by the athlete. The process is very simple. Athletes complete the weekly questionnaire in the athlete monitoring platform. They can complete the questionnaire on their, on their smartphone. That's very, very simple. Then automatically the system will send a weekly health report along with in, in instant alerts to the medical team. In turn, the uh, medical team can assign the diagnosis right into the platform and then provide individual, individual follow-up to the athlete. So instead of having the athlete reporting directly to the medical team, in this new approach, the, the athlete automatically reports his health problems or any health problem that uh, causes a problem to his um, participation or performance into the athlete monitoring software. The athlete monitoring software will send an alert to the medical team who in turn can assign the diagnosis right into the platform and then as, uh, implement individual follow-up right with the athlete. The benefit of this new approach, it can detect both, both time loss and non-time loss health problems. It doesn't require medical personnel on site. So if you are um, dealing with athletes who are scattered all over the country, then you can implement this approach and then collecting data, uh, injury data and health data uh, uh, instantly wherever they are. It provides a much better detection of illnesses and ovaries injuries. And research has shown that uh, it can detect 6.5 uh, or 10, 10 times more health problems than traditional methods. On the left here, you'll see that's, a, that's um, an article uh, published um, in 2016 in uh, Journal of Strength and Conditioning um, Research. This is a statistics um, of um, injury, overuse injury detected by the Oslo Sports Trauma Questionnaire. And those are detected by the uh, team physiotherapists. This study was done for uh, on the professional uh, basketball team over the course of the entire season. Now I'll be showing you the system. This is the health survey as it is completed by an athlete on a weekly basis. So there are four questions. The first one is on level of participation. Have you had any difficulty participating in normal training and competition? due to injury, illness, or other health problem during the past seven days? So that's a very, very straightforward question. And then the athlete will have to select the appropriate answer. Well, uh, full participation with, but with some problems. Then did you reduce the training volume based, your, um, based on this problem? Then the athlete can select. Yes, quite a bit. Uh, has your performance uh, suffer because of the, these health problems? No effect at all? Could not, not participate well but just a little bit symptom do you experience any symptoms yes have you reported this problem previously yes and then the history will pop up and the athlete can select the uh, appropriate section uh, and no then that's a new problem continue and then the athlete can select the type of problem there is some information here in case that this is uh, unclear but uh, basically they can select an, an acute injury, an overuse injury, or an illness. If it's an acute injury, they can select the body area that is injured and then select. So it's the shoulder. When did it happen? Well, it happened yesterday. And what were you doing? Well, I did a conditioning session. And how did it happen? Well, I, um, I just uh, hit a player. And then I continue. Time loss. Now you can collect time loss data. So how many days over the last seven days you have completed missed training or competition due to this problem? Well, I missed three days. Did you contact the medical team? 
So this is, those are all the medical professionals linked to their uh, accounts, but no, they didn't uh, report the problem. Comments, they can uh, automatically easily enter their comments, provide more information about the, the, the issue, the context, and so on. Then the athlete is asked if uh, he experienced any other health problem during the past seven days. So it could be yes, and then he comes back to the beginning and select all the appropriate answers. It could be no. And you can also track the medical use. As you start using new medication, yes, some information here, no, and that's it. So as you can see, that's very, very simple for the athletes. When an athlete self-reports a problem, the medical team linked to the, the account automatically receives a notification. This notification can be sent by email or SMS. The help tab of the team dashboard automatically lists the detected problems, acute injury, overuse injury, and then the playing status is presented by the caller. Red means no availability, Yellow means the athlete is injured but still can train with some limitation, and green will mean that the athlete is able to train and compete. Here on the help tab, you can immediately identify the new problems reported through the weekly survey. Here we have an acute injury with a low, lower leg and diagnose. Then here you have some comments. And here you have the dashboard that illustrates week by week the status of the, the OSTRC questionnaire. To edit an incident is very simple. You uh, can click on the, on the issue. Then automatically the, the information is selected by the athlete is displayed on the screen. You can then, you know it's lower leg, but then the medical professional can assign the diagnosis. Which structure? Which muscle? Level of pain is selected by the athlete, but it can be modified here as well. If it's a new, new recurrent, that's also selected by the athlete, but it can be modified. The activity, everything is there. The health professional can have direct access to all the problems. Select the team menu, health, and then have access to the table that illustrates all the athletes with problems. By just clicking on the, the appropriate name here, they can go right into the case, edit the summary, add clinical notes, and of course monitor the uh, number of missed days, availability, and severity of health problems. They can even track medication. To access injury surveillance graph and statistics, you can click this little icon here and have data, let's say for the last six months, for data completeness. Questionnaire reported by the athletes, week by week. The athletes are here. You can also select just one athlete to focus on this one in particular. And then you have the health outcomes, all the health problems combined week by week, all illnesses or substantial overuse injuries. You can track really everything. And here you have the table that illustrates the, the numbers. And of course, here you have the classical graphs that uh, illustrate the distribution of health problems and injuries uh, per body area, per activities, and so on. Producing injury surveillance statistics, it's also very easy. From the health tab, select the export button. You can select either injury log or injury surveillance statistics. Then you select your team on group to select the time. So let's say I want to export statistics from July until now in November. And then I can select either Excel or CSV. And I click export. And after a few seconds, I can open the file. And here we are. Those are my statistics for my group, for several months, number of athletes, response rate, diagnosis rate, you have the range, you have confidence interval, you have everything. Prevalence data, incidence data, relative burden, time loss, of course for the entire group, but also per athlete, week by week. And also you have the complete log with all the answers from the questionnaire, the incident detected, and all the comments and uh, in additional information, including symptoms.